Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Saturday the 18th of June 2022. It's 35 degrees outside at least. We also have that feels like which is in, off the scale. Uh, very warm today here in Bangkok. Um, so uh, might as well stay inside in the air conditioning and play a game of Sudoku. Why not? So uh, regular game, the New York Times hard level, uh, and um, I shall get started if and when I manage to find a digit that I could place. Um, I messed this one up a bit yesterday, and my apologies for that. And today, I don't seem to be able to see anything. Oh. <laughs> Is it going to be candidates from the off? Oh, I'm going to have to start clicking numbers right away. Oh dear. That's a rather um, intimidating start. Uh, okay, so I've got four and eight, four and eight here, so a pair of four and eight go here. Is this four and eight block these two columns? Is that going to give me anything, though? Um, nines, nines, fives, no, sixes, no. Nine there. I need it already. Nine in these two squares, but I already need that nine down here. Oh, oh dear, that's not very good. Um, oh, hang on a minute. You can see eight and nine blocking across here as well. So we've got eight and nine over here. Another pair. Oh no, nine. Actually, I haven't got as far as nine yet. Okay, so nine block there. Okay, got the nine there. There's one. That's the first easy number. Now we're going to get the eight because I noticed the eight blocking across there. So thank goodness for that. I thought I was going to have to start with pencil marks right from the start, which always leads to a forest of um, candidates, which I try to avoid, even though I don't necessarily want to play the game as being notation free, as many of you do. Uh, I actually do want to reduce the number of candidates I'm offering. To be selected from, I should say. Uh, okay, we've got one and four blocking this square, so one and four must be in these squares, and the other number that goes here is a six. Did I finish looking at those nines yet? I guess I have a feel. All right, let's uh, let's do some block filling with the uh, blue with the blue highlighting uh, to see if I can find anything useful. So one there, and one across here. I don't hear anything really. One here too much. Okay, so that's that. Twos are down here. Else 
reads this. Basically, anywhere here, so it's going to be much. Um, I think this one is just mm -hmm. I don't know where to go with this, so I'm gonna 
jump in with the pencil marks really. Um, I think I should. Um, let's put these in here. This is um, one and four. Oops. And down here I said four and eight. Um, so I have ones here. Ones there. Okay. All right, I'm definitely committed to pencil marks now. <laughs> so these are going down there. So I can't like so and like so. Pair of fours in there. Pair of fives over here. And up there. This is not looking good. It looks like there's going to be a bazillion candidates. <laughs> uh, that is what I tried to avoid, but I didn't see any other way forward, so I have to go with it. Well, I do believe I've got all of the pair work sorted out there, which is not a great deal. Um, it's a shame, really. Looks like I'm going to be um, stuck in a morass of uh, small numbers. Right, I'm going to start here, this block here, and I'm going to work that way. Let's be... Uh, Japanese about it and go right to left in honor of Sudoku. Uh, we got one, two, three, four. We don't have five yet. Five can go anywhere in those squares. Uh, and six blocks this square at the top, so six is available there. Now I say make mine is done. Right? One we've got here. Two, three, how about four? What do we know about four? Absolutely nothing. Uh, five blocks up the middle here, so five in those squares, six blocks across here like this, so six in those squares, seven we have, nine we have, we don't yet have an eight, any intersecting eights, no, none, zilch, nada, so eight there right now. Across here, one we have already, two we have already, three blocks down here, and three, actually three blocks across there, more importantly. So three actually is there, four blocks up the middle. So four is available in those squares. Five, the same from up here, blocking down the middle. So five there, six, seven, eight blocks down here. Eight in those squares, and then nine blocks the first column and this row here. So, all right, so we've completed our first horizontal shoot. Let's have a look and see. Yes, there's a pair of four and eight immediately. Okay, great. So, that's done something. It means that the four will be removed from the 
this square and it means that a 4 can be cake if we remove from that square. Has that done enough to create even the slightest dent in today's puzzle? I don't think it has really. Never mind. Right, okay. Candid City we have. Right, um, let's. Does it matter anywhere? Let's scroll on the top. I don't think it matters. I'm going to end up filling all of these candidates in anyway for sure. We got ones blocking across like this, so ones in those squares there. Two blocks up here and two blocks across here. So two in those squares there. Three is in four blocks across here and four blocks across here. So four along the top row, uh, five blocks along the top row, and five blocks up the middle here. So five of those squares there, uh, six across the middle, so six across the there. Seven we have, nine we have, eight. Oh, we've got a single two now. Great. Let me just check on this. One, two, three, four. And it is indeed right. Okay, so that's definitely going to help us. A single two, get rid of the candidates there, and it's going to put two down here. And what do we know down here now? This is a pair of two and seven, so finally we've got a naked pair that's worthwhile. Uh, we know that this four cannot exist there, so we can remove it. And now we only have, since we put in our pairs before, we know that that has to be a four. Um, we also have a pair of nines there, but I don't think it matters much because nines still seem to be possible anywhere down here. So, okay. Uh, right, I should deal with this block down here now. Logically, this is the next best place to visit, I think, uh, rather than up here. So, uh, one, two blocks. Two is done actually. Three, four, five. We're looking for six. Where is six? Hello, six. Just that single six up there. So six can appear in any of these squares. Not in the two seven, of course, that's not good. And uh, what are we missing? Missing an eight, right? So eight blocks across here, so eight's gonna be in those squares down there, and that's also gonna put a pair of eights over there now. Right, let's have a look at this um, shoot this central vertical shoot now. Mm. Can't see the uh, can't see any um, specific patterns just yet. They may be there but they're probably hidden so much to see. Right, uh, so let's finish this block here. Ones, do we have any intersecting ones anywhere? No, we don't. We don't have any pairs. So one goes there. Two blocks across the middle and two blocks up here. So now we have a pair of twos in the top row. Three blocks up here and three blocks along here. So there we go. Three, four, five. We don't have sixes yet, can we? So six goes across there. Uh, seven, eight, and nine are done. Let's have a look at this. Oh, so sorry, silly me. Look, I've got ones here. Get rid of those ones. Didn't mean to put those in, of course. I forgot. So now actually I'm left with a single seven. Here and this will not be true anymore. So that's the eight, seven, three, five, three, five. So that's looking much better. Now sevens will be a pair down here. But still lots of work to do.
Uh, okay, let's come down here then. One's blocking across here. One to go there. Two blocking down here. Three more squares. Three usually blocks down here and across here. So I'll look square of threes there. Four, five, six. Here's my six. Nope, still. Six is still a tough nut to crack. There's seven, eight, and nine are done. So let's see. Nope. So, fingers crossed that I'm going to find something useful in the last block here, um, which has one in every corner square. Two is in, three blocks down here and across here. So, possibilities for three are limited to those squares. Four, five, six, done. Seven blocking all the way down here, but that's all we know. Seven in the squares, eight blocking the oh, so eight's done. So and nine. Oh, we've got seven, single seven here. Nine blocking down here, so we can place nine in those squares. And when we do so, we will end up with a single seven here, and that will give us a nine in that square there. So let's get rid of these nines first of all. And then the sevens, so we have to get rid of seven, 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 seven. Bang. And we're left with a single place where seven can go from there. Alright, now this can't be a seven here, so let's get rid of can be a seven. Let's place our seven. Clearly in this square, let's have seven here and two here, and let's get rid of these candidate twos by choosing the right mode on the computer. Uh, this looks like the only nine in the bottom row here, am I right? Yes, I am, and also nine blocks this square here, so this will be a nine, and this will be a nine, and these. Squares will not contain nine, can be nine. Left with a single six here now, looking good. Eight here. Let's put four into this square here. And let's put, since that's a four or eight, let's put the eight here and the four there. And then Let's look at tidying up, I suppose. So let's see, fours in all of this block here, and the four there must disappear quietly, and this four as well. Okay, uh, what else? Um, let's just go through the digits and see you know, what can be eliminated. So we have a pointing pair of pointing threes here, so that three cannot exist now. This four means that that four is no longer valid. Four must be placed in this square here. Still a lot of work to do on fives. Sixes, on the other hand, have some to be taken away. Maybe this one and this one here. Let's see. Seven's actually complete. 
states now means this and this state should be ejected and an 8 placed in this square here. And this 8 must be removed. And 9, 9 looks happy as it is. Right, okay, now let's have a look at Another, a new look at the grid now that we've removed lots of stuff and uh, find something more interesting. Okay, we have a pair of 1 and 5 here now, so this 5 in this square cannot exist, and therefore that will leave us with 3, which will give us 5 in that square there, and means that this must be 5 here, and all of these 5s can say bye bye. Put a 9 in that square, a 6 here, and a 1 here. And we should remove candidate 1 there. Uh, now, what did I put in? I put in 3. Did I put in more to 3? Um, this 5 here must be taken away. And so is this 5 here, and when we see that this is either 3 or 5, we can already place the 3, and then the 8 will go here, giving us a 3 down here, and the 8 is the only square it can go in, because that one there, and this 8 must be removed. I've, I've got to keep taking stuff away here, because this, is, this was quite a tough game, I think. I don't know about you uh, notation-free players, but I, I would never have been able to play this without candidates, for sure. Um, and even with candidates, I'm making sure to remove excess candidates so I don't mess it up because I think that I might just do that. Uh, we have six here, so these two sixes can go away. And this now will become the one, giving us five in this square here, and leading to a five there, and a four here. We have four five, so that's our nine now. We have a five here. You're a three, you're a six. And you will be a five lucky enough. And you must be a one. Arise, so six. Okay, and a six down here. And let's get rid of the sixes up here. Okay, and six means this should be a three. And a lowly two left here. Down to a 1, up to a 6, 6 here, and there's one number missing in this row, which is a 1, let's put that in, it's a 5 in this by value cell, and this gives me a space for a 2 now, the 1 up here gives us a 4 here, and a 1 here, and the 1 here puts a 2 in that square, 3 in that square, and a 1 to finish. Um, so once the candidates are in and we found uh, like one pattern, just, just one little bit there, things became much easier. Just a matter of finding that first uh, naked pair uh, to be, well actually I found some naked pairs that weren't useful, but um, you know, first useful naked pair um, with candidates. And uh, then the rest of the puzzle disappeared fairly rapidly I'd say. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, will I be back later with the LA Times? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Such is life and survival.